June of 2017, we're presenting a new production of Apollo and Hyacinthus, which is um, generally sort of classified as, as Mozart's first opera. And it's based on a story from Ovid's Metamorphoses. Um, and it's a really charming story. Hyacinthus is killed in a discus accident. They go off and throw discus and he accidentally manages to get his head lopped off. Luckily that happens off stage, so we don't have to find a way of presenting that beheading on stage. But there are some fantastic stage directions in the, in the score. One of which is that the god Apollo transforms Zephyrus into the West Wind, that's supposed to happen on stage. And the second one is that at the end of the opera, the dead body of Hyacinthus is transformed into a bank of flowers, which will bear his name. And the story is that's how the flower of the Hyacinth was created. And that transformation also is expected to happen on stage. And you do actually very quickly forget that this is the work of an 11 year old. It's playful and it's naive in a rather fantastic way with very primary colours, very sort of um, direct, but um, but totally on its own terms, wonderful music and, and good drama. One of the things we've really found brilliant as a, as a way into classical music is that if you say to a room full of 10 year olds, this is the marriage of Figaro, listen to it, this is great, they won't really take that on board, how, how many times you say it, it you know, they they don't really engage. But if you say to exactly the same 10 year olds, listen to this music, Mozart wrote this when he was your age, they immediately engage in a completely different way.